JD.com are a huge giant Chinese e-commerce company and in the last year or so they've been struggling a bit with Chinese regulation but things are starting to lift now you can trade this stock on US markets and it could be a good time to take a look at them are things lifting well I'm gonna have a look at the charts to see what's going on they've strategically partnered up with people like Shopify Walmart Google and are you know probably in a better place than where they have been for a long while now earnings are just around the corner March 10th so that could be a key crunch time for some price action activity so with that let's take a look at those charts see where that price may be heading next first visuals on that weekly line chart there is that pink triangle pattern nice ascending um, possible breakout triangle now it's hit the bottom of the support a couple of times could see some more sideways action with inside that triangle pattern but then we'd want that price to break out up and through that but that is like the big takeaway from this chart it's been trading sideways had a good 2020 then a bit of regulation through 21 slow things down and consolidated and now like I say keep an eye on that pattern for potential breakups to the down or upside but that pattern we have the odds more on a up move than a down one so we've still got a down bearish uh, reversal in play on the four line break chart entry if you're very aggressive is $68 roughly about now want to wait a bit wait for another block down so 65 sort of area could be a more conservative entry for you on that chart at the moment on the daily high can actually chart our signals at the bottom are both bearish volatility actually has come down from where it normally trades around 60 70 percent down to the early 40 percent and volume also trading a lot less than what it normally does now price really has been going sideways for most of you know 2021 and up to today regulation like I said or an influence in that sideways movement from the Chinese government but like I said there's nothing too exciting happening in the price currently sitting slap bang in the middle of the two standard deviation regression trend there is a short term sell signal in play from the two line pink box breakout setup but generally at the moment it's weak bearish sort of feel to the chart there a one dollar block size used on the Renko chart all our signals down the bottom there are bearish and we head up onto the price again bearish in the short term with that sell signal breaking outside the two line pink box setup trend sideways to slightly weak and if we talk about downside numbers we're thinking 64 to 56 and then to the upside you're talking early 80s that 38.2 percent line then up maybe to the highs around 92 before it can think about breaking on up higher but overall another weak bearish feeling chart so if we're given a score based purely off the technical analysis it's a bit flat to weak bearish now up in the top right there four line break chart still giving us a bearish downward play high can actually start to get a bit more mixed in terms of the signals we're looking for but weak bearish overall same for the Renko heading in to the targets upside 2.25 and 3.25 to 1 downside 1 to 1 and 1.7 to 1 but overall score for JD.com at the moment weak bearish now if we cast our minds back to that earlier weekly line chart where we saw that ascending triangle pattern building very nicely and with earnings just around the corner March 10th then if I was an option stock trader I'd be possibly looking for a potential straddle type strategy we're not sure you know what direction the stock might break out but we with the lowering of the volatility recently we might see a spike as it breaks out there in either direction and you know we might pick up some good earnings from the back of that now if I was more directional 
I'll be looking at the fundamentals around the Chinese regulatory side. Now, if they can ease and calm down, then you know JD.com's got great potential, you know, especially fundamentally. Technically, still very flat, weak, bearish at the moment. But look for the change in those signals for a potential upside play. A lot of room there to grow. And if it doesn't do anything at the moment, well, it's still a lot of sideways choppiness. So again, some option strategies around there. If you think really it's going to go nowhere, you know, maybe sell that straddle as an alternative idea. But like I say, JD.com overall currently weak, bearish on the technicals but does have that good fundamental potential upside, especially when you look at it against the competition like Shopify and some of the other players that it gets you know, involved with. Now, let me know your thoughts in those comments below where you think JD.com is heading next. I'd like to hear from you there. Or if you want to get really into the detail, join us in the free traders club we have on Discord. I'll put the links below there we talk all things trading and you know get that discussion building in there as well and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit that you know bell button and uh, subs button so we can keep building the channel out with your support and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.